Welcome amigos to another After Effects tutorial and today we'll go over that jitter or that camera shake earthquake effect in After Effects using the wiggle expression. You can be very creative and add different styles to this effect. If you enjoyed this video give us a thumbs up, subscribe to our YouTube channel. With your help and support we can continue to make these videos. Remember that life is truly a gift so make it count. We'll be using this clip to illustrate this jitter, this shake or earthquake effect. And when he slam dunks a ball right here, we'll start that jitter effect. And what we can do is we can add a marker so we know when exactly when we need to start. Hit the asterisk on the keyboard to add the marker. We can double click and we can add jitter to the comment section, hit OK. And now we know that this is our starting point. Now we'll be adding a simple expression called wiggle to create this shake or this jitter effect. And to create this expression is very easy. Any property that has a stopwatch, for example, the position has a stopwatch, you can add this wiggle. So you can also add it to the scale. You can also add it to the rotation, to the opacity. Feel free to add it to any property that has a stopwatch. We'll add two expression controls. So select your clip, go to effect, go to expression control, go to slider control, and let's add another slider control. And the first one, let's rename it to frequency. And the second one, let's rename it, hit enter and rename it to amount. Go to the clip, hit P for position to open the position properties and I'll click on the stopwatch to open the expression box. Now let's type in our very simple expression, wiggle. And wiggle takes two parameters, two values. The first one is the frequency. How many times do you want to jitter or shake per second? And the second one is the amount. So if you're working with a position, the amount will be in pixels. If you're adding it to the rotation, it will be in degrees. If you're working with a scale, it'll be in percentage. So for this one, just let's hard code two values, put parentheses, let's do it 15 times per second. So type in 15 comma, and for the amount, let's make it 30. So type in 30 parentheses, and that's all you need. Let's click outside, and you can see that it's creating that jitter, that shake effect. Now, notice that as it moves this, this clip, we have some transparency, we have some issues, and we want to fill in this gap. An easy hack is to simply mirror this section. What we can do is select your clip, go to Effect, Stylize, Motion Tile, and we can type for the output width, we can type in 150, for the height, 150, and let's mirror the edges. So that's, it's a simple hack. We're just mirroring the edges. Now what we can do is instead of hard coding these values, let's use these slider controls that we created. So let's delete this section. So we have wiggle parentheses. And for the first one, let's link it. So using the pick whip, click on it and let's link it to the slider for the frequency. And notice that After Effects generated the code for us. Type in comma. And once again, let's go back to the pick whip, click, and let's drag it to the slider for the amount. And After Effects generates that code for us. Add a parentheses and we're done with the wiggle. So let's click outside and let's play back. Okay, nothing is happening. And the reason why is because the frequency is set to zero and the amount is set to zero. So for their frequency, let's type in 15. So it'll be 15 times a second, and let's play back. And nothing is happening, and that's because even though we're jittering or shaking 15 times a second, the amount is set to zero. So let's change the amount, and let's set it to a value of, let's say, 30, and let's play back. Now we have that shake, the jitter or earthquake effect. Now, the cool thing about using these sliders is that we can keyframe. You see, we have a stopwatch, we can keyframe it so we can control it when we want to start and when we want to end it. What we can do is this. Let's go here and where we have our marker, let's go one frame before 
And for the amount, we can add a keyframe and let's make it zero. Select the clip, hit U to reveal all the keyframes. And the very next frame, hit page down. We can go ahead and we can make this, for example, 50. So let's play back. So it's playing back. And there, we have it right here, it's starting to shake. So we can control it. And what we can do is we can stop it as well. We can, for example, here we can add a keyframe. And then maybe right here we can set it to zero so it'll stop. So let's check it out. And what we can do is we can drag these keyframes, select these keyframes, let's drag it. So the jitter is very brief. Okay. That's one method. If you want to get fancy, we can do some extra things. What we can do is select your clip, make a copy, control D, and I'm going to rename this to original. This will be our original clip. Hit P for position and let's delete the expression. Let's delete it and let's delete all the effects and I'm going to bring it down. Okay. So what we have is, let's recap, let's solo this layer. This is just a clip with nothing, no effects at all. And the second clip, this clip is the one with the jitter. Okay, what we can do is, let's unsolo it, is once we jitter, we can lower the opacity. Let's type in 50 so we can create this effect. It's a slightly different effect. We can also change the blending mode. We can make it add. You can experiment with any of these blending modes. And when we add it, we can trim these layers right here. You can trim by dragging the edges. To trim the endpoint is very easy. Alt, left bracket. And to trim the out point, you can drag it or Alt, right bracket. So this is what we get. It's a slightly different effect. And this actually looks pretty cool. You can add it. You can use it for music videos. You can obviously add it for sports. You can get fancy. We can add more effects. You can add a glow to it as well. And when you add the glow, let's play with the threshold, the radius, the intensity. Let's check it out. And feel free to add more effects. For example, we can add a blur, we can add, let's see, CC radial fast blur, we can do that. We can select the basket right here. Let's see, we type in, let's change the amount to 75 and let's check it out. So it's totally up to you. You can get fancy, you can add more effects. I've given you different ways you can add this jitter this shake or earthquake effect in After Effects where you can control it with sliders. Have some fun, be creative, add some effects and see what you can come up with.